All right, let's get it. Let's get it popping. All right, welcome to episode five of the Dead Pixels podcast. Today, as usual, I got uh, Chris and Pablo with me, but we also have a special guest, Eight Bit Ron. Whoa, <laughs> I'm a guest. So, Howdy. Uh, today we're gonna just like we're gonna try to get through this movie shit fast so we could get to the E3 stuff. But first thing I wanted to talk about is Godzilla. Oh boy! I think everybody Godzilla here King of the Monsters. Has everybody here seen Godzilla? I have. 
Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's talk Godzilla. Anybody can go first. Just give your thoughts and shit. Need a oh, TED talk right now. <laughs> your dumbass wanted to go see the goddamn humans in a movie called King of the Goddamn Monsters. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> The humans oh, the humans flat. didn't do much shit like that. It's called King of the Monsters for a goddamn reason. I went there to see monsters beat the other legs shit out of each other, and that's what they did. That is what they did. No, that's <laughs> true. I agree. It was, I, think it was I don't a great think they movie. had enough humans in the movie, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a I movie. swear to God. <laughs> I feel like the people that complain about the humans in the, the Godzilla movie are like people that really, really like the the old movies where the humans actually did some pretty meaningful stuff in there. Yeah. I guess this is what they kind of wanted, but, you know. They'll be alright. We're, 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 we're in a post, uh, we're in a modern world, gentlemen, so we want giant monsters fighting each other, and that's what I got. Yes, sir. 2019. They got with the times. Movie looked great. Fucking. Yeah. If anything, I think the humans kind of like they fixed an issue with the first movie where the humans kind of like overshadowed whatever screen time Godzilla had. Yeah. But like it wasn't as severe here because I noticed every time the monsters would fight, it wasn't just one like complete sequence of the monsters fighting. It would always be like, okay, you see. Godzilla, King Ghidorah fighting each other, and then it would transition to like the humans trying to get away, or you know them doing their own crap along the side. And it was just like, like I just want to see these monsters completely fight. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, 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 of course, there's always gonna have to be some sort of humans in there just to yeah. push the story along. But the less, the better, in my opinion. Like movies called Godzilla. We want to see Godzilla. Exactly. It's not called Godzilla and uh, these random humans. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think they did. A, I think they did a good job with this one, with the, with the yeah. balance between humans and and uh, Godzilla and other monsters. So, look forward to the next one. It's probably gonna be Godzilla Definitely. versus Kong. Yeah, it oh, comes so. out next year. Does it really? Yeah. No yeah. oh, shit, I didn't know that. Yeah. And they got they, then they really got me with that little after credit sequence, but I don't know if you want to get into that. Oh, the uh, Robo oh, Kadora, oh, yeah. whatever. Yeah, it's uh, Mecha King Ghidorah, bros. Mecha King Ghidorah. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be Mecha Godzilla, but that'd be far soon for all that. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was it was pretty solid. Uh, next, uh, maybe Chris, you could talk more about this because I've seen tweets about it. But supposedly Gumball is ending or something. Or has yeah, it <clears throat> God damn it! Uh, I actually watched the last episodes a couple of, uh, yesterday actually. So it is. Because uh, uh, against on demand, yeah, it's over. Well, okay. See, here's the thing. They ended it in the most cliffhangery way. Probably did that on purpose. This is Gumball, we're talking and, about. Like it was a like it was a normal episode of Gumball. Then they did something that left on a cliffhanger. And then they were like, "Oh, that's the show." But then the creator was like, "Well, if we do a movie, they, they like he like tag Cartoon Network. If we do a movie, maybe we could fix that cliffhanger." So damn. So they're holding Cartoon Network hostage. That's yeah. Crazy. So they want to. <clears throat> the creator of the show wants to do a movie because apparently he didn't really want to end it. That he had a whole set up how he wanted to end the show, but they were like, no, no, just end it this way. Just use this episode. And he was like, I kind of had a story, kind of had a whole arc for this story, but all right, I guess I'll just end it here. But no, he ha he has a whole movie in place for it, but it's really up to Cartoon Network if they let him do it. So, Which I hope they do, because <clears throat> if that's the last we see of the show, that cliffhanger, that cliffhanger I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> In on cliffhangers, like yeah. I'm still upset about my name is Earl ending the way it did. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but if if that's how it ends, then I'm upset. But then ain't really shit I can do about it. So yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'm surprised it ended. What does what does Cartoon Network have left in terms of shows? They have uh, they got Wee Bear Bears left. They got that Hector and Valentino show, which is pretty Ooh. okay. 
Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to that because you know, for it's obvious a, reasons. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's actually a Mexican show. It's, it's actually pretty good. Yes, sir. Mexican <laughs> shows. I'm yeah, there. it represents like the culture really well, actually. Definitely, I've seen clips yeah. of it, and this is like, there's so much small shit in there that I can relate to. And it's like, ah, uh, yeah. oh my goodness, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty good. Uh, a show called Infinity Train is coming. They had like, oh, yeah. it was a, it was like a short thing, like I think four years ago, and it finally got greenlit. Yeah, see, the universe should be back soon. Plus, that movie is coming soon. So, Cartoon Network still got a couple stuff. Apparently, there's a, there might be an Adventure Time spinoff coming soon. Who knows? You got to mention their best show. Times? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just, Stop. You know, just go say, Teen Titans uh, Go. Teen Titans Go still on there. Yeah. Teen Titans. You Go. know what's crazy? I I watched a couple episodes. The show has gotten funnier. It has gotten okay. funnier ever since the movie, because they reference this. They reference the movie a lot. Oh, they actually referenced that the movie happened. Crazy. Yeah, they reference like Slade and like. That she said. Remember those? Have you guys seen Teen Titans Go? The movie. Oh, bad. Nah. Yeah, but I think that... I've seen parts of it though. Do you remember those guys that were like stuck in like that other dimension? What guys? I don't remember. It was like. It was like this whole team, they got sucked into the dimension. They saved all the other heroes, but not, like, those three. Oh, uh, I remember what you're talking about now. Yeah, it was a scene, scene episode where they were talking about the movie, and then they were like, oh, should we go get those other guys? And it just goes to a clip of their skeletons, and they're like, oh, I'm sure they're fine. That's crazy. Yo, that's that's awful. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, I mean, that's, that's fucked what, up. <laughs> you think that was, uh, they, uh, in that movie, they helped murder Batman's parents at one point. Yeah, it was like, wasn't it like a whole sequence where they were pretty much just like making yep. sure the superhero origins went as planned? Yeah. Yep. Damn. They put they put a uh, they put like the, I think they put like the uh, pet pop rings around Aquaman's neck at some point, <laughs> and they shoved Batman's parents into the alley. That shit is That's crazy. Funny. All right. You got a good meme out of that movie though, Alex. I did. You did, bro. Solid meme. Right. That's that's all for the the movie talk. I didn't see uh, whatever that garbage ass movie was called yesterday. So <laughs> I, I forgot what we were supposed to watch out to Godzilla. <laughs> you didn't see you didn't see Dark Phoenix, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> Maybe I'll go see it Monday or something. Oh man. But it feels good. <laughs> It's such oh. a tragedy. How do you like they were riding high with? Line. I like experiment. That's such a bad line. <laughs> Come on now. Or it could have been delivered better. But it they feels were riding high. Good. Oh yeah. They were riding only... high with um, them other movies. I forgot. They're like Days of Future Past and what was the one that came before that? Before Days of Future Past, uh, First Class. Uh, yeah, First Class. Like those are good movies, right? Like. Yeah, I like those. Thought those were good. <laughs> yeah. The only the only part of these new X Men movies I like is Quicksilver. That's it. Same. Yeah, they. they... I mean, to be to be fair though, Fox probably said, "Look, Endgame coming out this year. Let's get this movie over with. Let Disney have a shit back. I don't care anymore." Let <laughs> <laughs> Disney have yeah. shit back. That's how it felt. Like they probably had some shit planned for Dark Phoenix, and then it's probably. like, oh, we got we got bought out by Disney. This well, probably shit. wasn't even supposed to be their last movie, honestly. Yeah, Dark Phoenix is a pretty probably. big arc to hold in one movie. They said, "Fuck it, let let Marvel do it like in three years." Uh, better too. Yeah, it is what it is. Probably will be actually. Yeah. It better be. That's the thing. All right. What if Marvel get in just fucks it up too? They just like you know what X Men just we just gonna cancel X Men. <laughs> just gonna cancel. No. <laughs> I'm just excited for Fantastic Four. Mm. I want to. I want. I want a really good Fantastic Four movie. That's all I want. Yeah. We haven't gotten a single good. Fantastic Four movie. Sure, no, no, no. Three of them. <laughs> they did Doctor Doom dirty twice. Yes, sir. They did. They yeah. did him even more dirty. At least in the time. first movie, he was like not like an Earthbender. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to give him that. And Silver Surfer looked good in the in the second movie. Bro, that 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 the new the new Fantastic Four movie making no goddamn sense. There's this whole sequence where Doom is walking through a hallway, literally just blowing dudes' heads up without even looking at them. And then he has to. And he came. And then he has to actually fight the, fight the Fantastic Four. Like, if, man, if you just don't blow these niggas' heads off. <laughs> well, my powers don't work in this dimension, so. 
And they had the whole setup for the sequel. I was just sitting in the movie like, ah, y'all not going to get a sequel. <laughs> that <day>, right? <laughs> Except the extra building and everything. I'm like, okay, well, that's cute. <laughs> sequel? Sequel? You? That's such a, that's yeah. such a sad thing yeah. for movies where, like, they obviously set up a sequel, but then you yeah. look at their box office and it's like, oh, y'all tanked. Y'all are not getting that sequel. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm so scared for it. That's why I was so scared for a lead. I'm like, oh god, I actually like this movie. Please get a sequel. <laughs> <sighs> but will we'll we get see. a sequel? Who knows? I don't know. I think we might get a sequel to that movie. Oh, in other real quick, god damn. Did you guys see that Sony is just spoiling Spider-Man? What do you mean? Wait, like, like Far From Home? Or... Yeah, Far From Home. Oh mean? crap! What do you mean they're spoiling? They're just showing like every suit this man Tony has made for Peter. Damn. Like they like this isn't the. Do you guys want me? It's not really a spoiler, but is it like on? Is it like a Twitter post they made, or is it like? It's like it, it's people have been taking the TV spot and just showing like a screenshot. Oh, like no, they they end game themselves. Fuck. You, like, do you guys want me to tell you one of the suits that they showed, or you good on it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I want to be in, I mean, in the dark. You don't want to be in... Oh, you want to be in the dark? Yeah. Yeah, stay in the dark. That's all why right. I get for following all these Marvel posts. Yep, see, that's why I don't follow them niggas. <laughs> I can be spoiling, spoiling the old movies. A bunch of clowns. Damn. We got a whole another month until this movie come out. Right. right. At least Endgame Ma waited until, like, a couple days until the movie came out to yeah. spoil it. <laughs> that's not even Marvel, that's Sony. Huh. Tony said, let's just show all the suits real quick. <laughs> Y'all want all the, spoot, all the suits? Here you go. <laughs> they, they went to Marvel and said, hey, how about we show all the suits? <sighs> I don't know about that. Excellent. Let's show all the suits. I... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all sure we just can't buy Spider-Man from y'all? Ah, oh, this is a partnership. Ah, I don't know if I want this partnership anymore. <laughs> hey, let, look, let's, just, let, let's, let's, let's just take Spider-Man off your hands. What else we got? I mean, y'all got, got Men in Black. Y'all got that. Uh... Y'all got, uh, got Spider-Verse? No, actually, no, we'll take that, too. Let's take that. No, Sony did good with Spider-Verse. Yeah, Spider-Verse is a... yeah. probably the best Spider-Man movie, honestly. Spider-Verse slapped. Spider-Verse one of the best movies of all time. Definitely one of the best animated movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah speaking of Spider-Verse. What? No, when Rick and Ralph thought they was going to win Best pic Animated Picture. <laughs> <laughs> they, had to, they had the posters ready and everything. <laughs> no. I actually, oh, that's I, tragic. I actually that's forgot tragic. Rick and Ralph came out last year too. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. It wasn't even a bad movie too. It was just that it came out the same year as Spider Verse. <laughs> yeah, it came out in November, November. And then here comes Spider Man in December. Like, we'll take that prize. Thanks. <laughs> Anybody that released an animated movie last year made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, because didn't didn't Incredibles two come out last year as well? Yeah. It did, and it was like one of the nominees. Of what was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Disney really thought they was going to take home the trophy again. I mean, they did. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. I mean, no, they kind of did. did. They half did. Well, 50% of it. Disney Pixar released Incredibles 2 thinking they could just uh, ride the wave of people with nostalgia that wanted an exactly. incredible sequel. When really, it was just the first movie all over again, just with the last girl as the lead. Yeah. And then Sony caught them slipping. Sony caught them slipping. And Sony said, oh, that's what y'all want to do? Okay, wait a minute. Hey, Incredibles 2 was, I mean, it was a good movie, but it was just the first movie again. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I, that's that's my that's my fear with Toy Story 4. Like, they might just do, you know, I feel like, I feel a like really Story safe story yeah. that's not going to surprise anyone, but people are still going to like the movie because it's Toy Story 4. Yeah. But this the last ride, Woody dies at the end. <laughs> Or Busby. Bo Peep doesn't got fucking Princess Peach syndrome. Jesus. And she's, well, she's actually different. We're all thinking Bo Peep's gonna be the twist villain when it's all along is just Buzz. I think so. <laughs> the Buzz just turns. <laughs> That's crazy. Buzz just snaps Bo Peep's neck. Jesus, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, she's made that like she, well, she's made that like a uh... porcelain or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, so she just tears the head off. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh shit, but shit, what I thought it was just gonna snap. I didn't mean all that. <laughs> Sorry, partner. Those those are head at him. <laughs> Sorry, partner. 
All right, that's a uh, that's all for the the movie TV talk. So now we got before uh, the E3 stuff. There's a couple couple gaming things that happened pre E3. Yes, um, this one is something <laughs> small, but it's uh, apparently one of the. Um, I can't remember who the guy is, but it's somebody from like the Marvel games division. Um, has expressed that he'd like to do uh, something, some kind of crossover with Smash Bros. So I just wanted to hear what you guys thought about that. What? Yeah. Some of the Marvel people? Yeah, let me see if I can find the article again. <clears throat> that sounds crazy. I mean, there's really only two contenders for this anyway. Yeah, Spider-Man and uh, Spider-Man. Iron- Spider-Man and Iron Man. The Wolverine would be pretty sick, too. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Um... Marvel discusses potential Smash Bros. Ultimate crossover, but don't count on it. Uh, it's it was an interview with Game don't Informer um, for Marvel's VP and Creative Director. Uh, he was asked about his thoughts on potential Smash Bros. crossover, um, and then he said, uh, "Well, I mean, I can imagine anything. You know, Hawkeye standing to Link and both shooting arrows. I mean, anything could happen. But I'm not the person that makes decisions such as that. So." It's not a confirmed thing or anything, but the fact that, you know, there's people on the Marvel games side that are interested in it is pretty cool. Especially seeing as though we got Ultimate Alliance 3 being uh, a uh, exclusive to the Switch. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Spider-Man's the obvious choice, to put it. Yeah, Spider-Man or Iron Man, like, obviously. Yeah, Spider-Man, I, I'd say girl. at this point, Spider-Man, Iron Man, or Captain America, because Captain yeah. and Iron Man yeah. are, like, in the forefront now, thanks to the MCU. Oh, shit, or so, Thanos, maybe. Nah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Thanos. Thanos just a uh, Ganon skin. Yeah. They did that shit with the Smash Bros mods back yeah. in Wii U. And I was just like, uh, them skins were gross. Nice world, girl. Uh, cool I mean, see. yeah. It's just that my, my worry when it comes to, like, when they finally open that Pandora's box of everybody, yeah, yeah. Video game characters aren't the like rule now. It just you get you'll just get a bunch of annoying people that'll be like bring in so and so, and it's just uh, yeah, like that's that's like that's the fear. The the Goku and Smash niggas will come back tenfold if like <laughs> Spider Man or somebody got in. Spider Man, like, yes, like no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I literally scrolled down once to the comments, and the first thing I see is, I mean, if they ever make it in, there's literally no reason for Goku to not be anymore, either. <laughs> That's the thing Goku in there so bad. You know what they should do? Honestly, let Goku be in. Let him Make him the weakest nigga in the game. <laughs> Just <laughs> put Goku yeah, in and make yeah. that nigga make trash. Oh, no. <laughs> the worst make character. it where Jigglypuff just knocks him out in one hit. Oh, my God. Hey, y'all want a Goku in the so game, funny. right? That fucking little Mac recovery too, even though that nigga could fly. <laughs> It'd be cool. But just play like, young. The only reason well, we I wouldn't want it game. is just because of that reason. I don't want the floodgates to open. I'd rather it stay to video games. But it'd be cool if it happened. Um. Okay. Next we got the the Google Stadia. Uh, what? The Google Stadia. You don't know about you don't know about Stadia. Know about Stadia? I just didn't watch it though. <laughs> the, the Google, the Google LMFAO. <laughs> the Google LMFAO. It's basically for those of you that don't know about Google Stadia. First of all, good for you. Second of all, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's Google's streaming game streaming service. Cause I'm oh trying to my get into god! The game, right? uh, I got there. I got the page open for Stadia. Let's see, it says uh uh, so Google Stadia. No waiting for downloads. You just jump right into gameplay experiences play up to 60 frames 4k resolution hdr support 5.1 surround sound uh they got a thing you can check your internet on play your favorite games without a console purchase the latest hit games and stay exclusives and play them across um screens you already own so it's basically like a play wherever you want streaming service um they're trying to get into the gaming space uh, Not what PlayStation Now is. Kind of, but it's this one is like actually you could play anywhere. You could play it on your phone, a tablet, a computer, like a laptop, a TV, like literally anywhere is what they're aiming for. 
Oh, yeah. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got <laughs> they've got the Stadia Pro part of the Founders Edition. It's ten dollars a month. Um, buy games whenever you want. There's free, supposedly free games supposed to come on. Um, this is the one where you can play up to four K and all that. And then on the other one, there's Stadia Base, which is supposedly going to come next year. Supposedly it's supposed to be free. But of course you still have to buy the games and shit. But um, I don't know. I I think I do think that like I mean, it could work. I guess. I mean, yeah. it just seems too good to be true, to be honest. Yeah, honestly. Like full on, you know, triple A type games. I can just play on my phone anywhere. It, it just I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it'll go as planned. Yeah. Like, I People's think phones might be crashing trying to play these <laughs> games. It's a good idea and, and all that. Yeah. And I do think the future of gaming probably is going to be like streaming cloud based shit, but I don't right. know if I don't know if the market's ready for it yet. Like, we're yeah, literally about to get like next gen consoles. I don't think the market's ready for, for cloud streaming and stuff. I think everybody's going to stick to what they know with the PS5 and whatever Xbox is going to have, so think i think google's trying to get ahead of the curve but they might have jumped the gun on this one yeah i think another thing you would have to factor is just people's internet connections aren't like the best so yeah. i feel like there'll be like lag and shit involved when people try to stream like it's not even like you have a physical it's not like you have the game on you it's not like it's playing off the stadium it's like it's probably playing off of some server they have yeah. so you would have to mm -hmm. consider lag or just like frames just plummeting and shit. I mean, like the average person like, has like average, average people have like pretty booty net. They got like thirty megabytes down and shit. Like, I think they only need like twenty to stream like ten eighty p. Oh, let me see. I mean, let's see. It says want to play range is four K to seven twenty. Says it works across very very various connections from thirty five megabytes down. Or 30 uh, MBS down to a recommended minimum of 10. 10 gets you 720, still 60 frames. 20 gets you 1080, um, HDR, 60 frames. And then 30 to like 35 gets you 4K. So let's text my internet connection. Let's see what I get. <laughs> see if I can play the Google Stadia. Yeah, bro. <laughs> You and your three-digit internet <laughs> upload and download speeds. It just says I can't. <laughs> oh, sorry. You gotta have all the internet connection. What does that mean? I mean, Bill Gates played this shit. <laughs> your connection is great. Based on your current download speed of 80.77, we'll expect you have a high-performance gaming experience with Stadia. Too bad I'm not buying it. Alright, that's enough <laughs> Stadia talk. Um, we'll see. We'll see how Stadia plays out in the yeah. next year or so. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe the biggest flex someone could ever do is just buy Google Stadia. <laughs> that is the that is the biggest flex. He's <laughs> gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, we'll um, take that. Let's see. Uh, Death Stranding released an eight minute trailer and their release date. Um, I think it looks pretty interesting. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that they haven't been showing much. I'm glad I didn't. I am glad that they finally showed some gameplay and shit. But I'm glad yeah. that they haven't been talking much about the story and the way the game yeah. plays and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, how do you how do you really explain a story like that? I guess the thing is just like eh, let people experience it. That's always yeah. been my issue with the game. Like it was never that. Oh, they're not showing anything at all. It was just that okay. Like I like I understand what they're going for with it being vague story wise, and you don't know exactly how this is gonna play out. It's just that I want to know what type of game this is, and it took them. You know, until now, to actually show me what type of, well, not the type of game it is, but just how the game plays. Yeah. Like, finally, after, well, when was the game first revealed? Like, the game was like first five years revealed. ago or some shit like that? I think so. Like, hold on, let me see. Uh, it's been a while. No stain. First death. First Death Stranding announcement. Uh... 
Death Stranding reveal trailer was 2016, June 13th. Jesus Christ. 2016. So three, three years. Three yeah. years ago. And we've gotten this much information. Like, I, I definitely right. feel like we should have got we we should get some base information, like, and shit. But I'm also glad that they haven't been like telling us everything because I feel like a lot of games these days feel the need to tell us literally mm, everything, everything about them before they they release. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like po- Pokemon does this all the time. Um, Smash showed us everything before it came out. Like, a lot of games just want to show you everything before they release. But I guess it also would just depend on like what kind of game they're trying to sell. Like if it's like a multiplayer type game like Smash, then I think showing everything would wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. But this is like a single player. Like this is obviously a very story driven game. So them wanting to kind of keep story details like on the low, so people, so players can actually experience it for themselves, is something that I can understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I will say though, imagine there's a Smash update one day, just randomly, and you go in and it's like two characters you didn't know were getting in, and then they come out with like a direct or something. That'd be an interesting way to do it. They released a character just out of nowhere. Yeah, then they're like, that's what they almost right did with up, fucking like, Joker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Man, game. starving for five months, bro. <laughs> the game looks beautiful. For sure. Um, I don't know. There's not, there's not much to say on it. I'll play it for sure. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Like, after seeing gameplay of it, I'm, my interest in it is kind of, uh, I guess, has been rekindled. Yeah. I was, I don't know, I, like, of course I was always, like, the gameplay was always important, but I was always more interested in the story, so even if the gameplay didn't look all that great, I probably still would have played it just to see what the fuck this story was about. Mm-hmm. But, uh... Yeah. One thing we know for sure, though, for sure, though, this big game's about to have PS4's breathing. Oh, yeah, that'd be a big <laughs> PS4's breathing. Look, look at this scene right here, like, <laughs> everybody's PS4 about to be on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so after that, we have Call of Duty. Call of Duty's newest newest game, Modern Warfare. It looks like they're, they're, they're pulling a Halo and about to reboot the whole franchise. Because uh, they've been on the, they've been falling off. They've definitely been falling off. They probably need to do something. I feel like this is the last yeah. Call of Duty they have before, like... People just... To just know. stop caring. Yeah. Because, I mean, you have already you already saw it with... Uh, with um, Advanced Warfare. People were like, fuck this game. Then they tried to mm-hmm. win people back with World War Two. World War Two. It got some yeah. people, but not really. And then Black Ops 4 came out. More people have fall off. Their games aren't selling as much. They're still selling shit tons. But not nearly as much as they used to, so I feel like Call of Duty is definitely on the downswing. But I feel like this game could potentially bring them back up. Mm-hmm. So with crossplay right. coming in now, yeah, they're right? Crossplay and there's no season pass. All all the the um, new stages. Any type of content added. update it would be free. Yeah, which is very interesting. I didn't. I never would have expected that from uh, from from. Uh, fucking Call of Duty game. So, I'm interested. I hope it's good, at least. Me too. Definitely. Um, after that, we got the Pokemon Direct. <laughs> That's crazy. <Damn. laughs> <laughs> Y'all aren't fucking with the Pokemon Direct? Come That's on. Now, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, they're like fucking, like, 30 minutes later, oh, we're remaking Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, oh, fuck that direct. <laughs> and we'll get to the GOAT later. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, I think Pokemon it definitely, I think it looks interesting. Yeah, it definitely looks like, well, <laughs> it definitely looks like a Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like that, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a trend with newer Pokemon games nowadays. Just like, yeah, here's, you know, more Pokemon, and here's our gimmick for this region yeah i feel like i don't know i guess it's different for me because i don't don't care that much because i haven't played a pokemon game since like fire red so Mm -hmm. but even even just looking from the outside i feel like pokemon doesn't like innovate enough with their series they just make slight changes they're they're 
yeah. the definition of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They release the same game, different area, new mons, and then some kind of gimmick. Right. Did you say new mons? New mons. Mons. Oh. N. For the most part, I think the game yeah. looks good. Like, y'all have yeah, already definitely. heard me probably complain about the graphics. <laughs> the graphics. Like, dog just had a, uh, it dog looks like a 3DS game. game. It yeah, does. It looks like an upscale 3DS game. Like, these yeah, scenes they're showing 3DS right game. here, these scenes right here they're showing look pretty good. But then, like, like this scene right here where Gyarados comes out the water, that looks ass, bro. Look at this man come out the water. <laughs> like, why does the water it look is... HD realistic and then Gyarados looks like cartoon man? The water is just a texture, and then they just put the Gyarados model on there. <laughs> like, and then there's that scene with where she's shaking the tree. That looks god awful. But then like, these scenes where it's changing a lot looks decent, yeah. and it really does just look like an upscale Pokemon game. Like, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's depending on it's not the final product, so you yeah, know, there's true. always room for changes. And I hope they do change it and make it look better, because that's that's high key unacceptable. If that's how this game looks when you look at games like. Breath of the Wild and Odyssey and Mario Kart and shit. Smash I think also Bros. part of it has to do with this being like the very first home console Pokemon game. So there's like, I guess, there's I guess they're still trying to figure out like how they want this game to look now that they got this extra like yeah they're power I guess to, yeah I can see that they're probably trying to see like what art direction and like how they want to make it look like how realistic they want to go how cartoony they want to go so. Mm-hmm. I definitely think it'll look better when, like, next time we see it, but... Yeah, hopefully. I just I just don't think... we. I, I just think we should let them know that it looks like ass in case that they are like, yup, this is how it's gonna look. Because I've seen a lot yeah. of people... Like ass? i seen I a lot of people so. just praising it and not mentioning the fact that some of these... Some of this, the parts of this game look like hot dick cheese. Dick <laughs> cheese. But I'm, I, I'm still interested in the game. Oh, yeah, For me sure. too. I haven't played a Pokemon game in forever, but I might get this one. <laughs> We're all buying the game anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's sad, but it's true. But, uh... Yep. I think that's it for Pokemon. Yeah. Then we got, uh, the best announcement of all of E3, even before E3. Who cares? Doesn't... Who gives a fuck about Pokemon when Battle for Bikini Bottom, for Bikini Bottom. is getting yeah! Bikini Bottom. Yeah! Remake bro. <laughs> Battle for Bikini yes. Bottom is Get getting it. remade. Not only is it getting remade, but they're adding content that was once cut to the game. Um, the game already has game. box art and stuff, so I think it might come out this year. Honestly, it's thirty bucks too. Yeah, I'm like, y'all really spending? Y'all really adult spending money on a SpongeBob game? Get here, yep, get here, yep. I'm excited for it. It's gonna be a, it's gonna yeah. be a good game. Did you see the last game they got announced today? What? Destroy all humans. Yes, sir. Oh, did it really? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's getting remade too. I didn't even see that. I never played that game, so. They have I'm a trailer excited. or something for it? Yeah, it's a trailer. I think so. THQ Nordic. I haven't seen it already, but three. I know it's happening. THQ. <laughs> Man, that I was, was really insane. hoping for tech, but oh yeah, here it is, oh, right here. Remake trailer. Let's watch this joint real quick, then I guess. Tech and the power of Juju. I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> tech and the power of Juju. Look at this mid-ass movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh brother! <laughs> now playing. <laughs> Yeah. THQ wasn't lying when they said we sitting on like a hundred games. Yeah, I thought they were only talking about uh, like Nickelodeon games they had produced or they had uh, published back then. THQ. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know THQ was responsible for destroy all humans. Yeah, neither did I. Yeah, neither. THQ about to take over, bro. All these games they about to release. Just shut up and take my money.
turn it up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Uh, uh, I just saw that. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Coming 2020, so this is confirmed coming next year. Alright. Yep. Oh god, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> they want you to see the movie, bro. They will get me to see that movie. <laughs> I, I didn't even know. So they announced that today? I didn't even know. Yeah. I don't even know what kind of game Destroy All Humans is. The, the impression I got from it is probably like a sandbox type game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Okay. It's like Alien GTA. Mm -hmm. I see. <clears throat> oh, Winter's Online. That'd be cool. That'd be clean, actually. So it it is multiplayer, I think. At least the first one was. The one I don't know about the first one. That'd be kind of clean. All right, so I guess now it's time to get to the actual E3 discussion part. Uh oh. Um, uh, we'll just go in order of the the time that these conferences are happening, I guess. Um. The first one is EA, even though their their EA is not having an actual conference, they're just showing games. Um, I think there's a list of what EA is showing, uh, but what are you guys expecting, if anything, to see from, from EA? EA? Yeah. Uh, sports! <laughs> yeah, racing game. <laughs> Right, like uh, it's all kind of sad. Man, how... 2020, bro. Come on now. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad how on, dog. Look at that, man. it's Look at really that. gotten to the point where we really do. We can just just look at EA and it's like, okay, we already know what you're gonna show off. Right. So why the fuck do we care? Yeah. Like, EA gonna come on stage and like, look, y'all know what yeah. we're here for. Let's just show it. <laughs> I just show Steph Curry and LeBron fighting. Oh my god. <laughs> that's always the pattern. It's like, oh no. shit, that's the wrong clip. Uh... Like... <laughs> Only thing oh, I'm interested from for EA is that Star Wars game. Other than that. Same. Oh yeah, I forgot that Star Wars game. Yeah, other than that, they, cancel one too. they don't really have it. Yeah, they've canceled a couple Star Wars games. <laughs> that was when they were on that uh, single player games don't make money bullshit tirade. <laughs> The same year Red Dead 2 came out, too. And, and God of War and Spider-Man, but, you know, single-player only games don't make money. Yeah. Nah, no money at all, actually. Like, like, even if that Star Wars game looks promising, it's just that it's EA, and I don't trust them with good properties. Yeah, I wouldn't trust either. them either. But the thing is, the only reason I'm giving this, this game some credit is because Respawn's making it. And Respawn, mm -hmm. even though they're under EA, they don't seem to put up with EA shit. Like, they've said time and time again that they've had EA had no hand in, like, Apex and shit. So, I feel like if anybody can do it justice, it's Respawn. As long as EA doesn't, you know, put their grubby EA hands all over it. <laughs> their greasy, slimy EA corporate hands. I hope they're not dirty. Touch me, I'm sterile. <laughs> But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't ex other than that, I don't expect much from, uh, EA. from EA. If there was a conference, there would be some nice uh, shit to clone on. Yeah. Like, I you know, techni technical difficulties, an awkward online personality trying <laughs> to seem relatable when he's obviously reading off a teleprompter. Yeah. I'm trying to see a uh, tall man next to a short man. <laughs> a tall short man again, honestly. <laughs> Oh, you know, we, what I am gonna miss from the was it was it the EA conference where it was that dude that had the uh, that co-op game? I forgot what it was called. Uh, Unravel. No, 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 the other one where it was like the dude just seemed like he was high off of something. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I know you talk. That guy was a YouTuber too. <laughs> oh no, it was, was like read on. <laughs> It was like this co-op game where it was like these two these two dudes were trying to like escape prison or some shit. Oh, oh a way out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that guy. <laughs> Fuck the Oscars. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Oh, Captain Yoshi just said some. Uh, they um. I actually forgot to mention that. Uh, the ukulele um spent a uh, sequel before sequel. we move on. Um, mm -hmm. what are you guys feeling about that? I know the first one kind of fell flat in some spots, but yeah, the, the first some... ukulele game was just like it was trying to be. It was like a hollow Banjo Kazooie, and even I don't like Banjo Kazooie like that. So it's like it did nothing for me. Yeah, this one from what I've seen looks like it's it's taking a more Donkey Kong Country spin on mm -hmm. things. So. They're kind of mixing it with like 3D Land too a little bit, like kind honestly, of a hybrid. Honestly, that kind of worries me because it's like y'all tried to make a Banjo Kazooie type of revival with this character, but y'all saw how it didn't work. So you're just gonna do a completely different genre. It's just something I'm not used to seeing. Yeah, yeah. It is I can't really, thing. I can't really be like excited about it. But let's get back to the E3 stuff. Next is the Goliath of the fucking E3 is Microsoft. Um, <laughs> I'm on their website right now. It says that their their um, conference is going to be two hours long. Jesus, two hours? Yeah, it's one one to three p.m. So. Oh my god. What day is this? Uh, Sunday. Um, any Damn, I'm at work. predictions or anything? I I feel like it's going to be kind of hard to predict. What Microsoft is going to because they're literally going to have everything since Sony's not there. They have to take care of all the like third parties. Third parties. Microsoft. So, Honestly, maybe a uh... shit. I don't know. Well, uh, there there was like a I don't I don't know how accurate it is, but there was a leak that had like fucking Marvel vs. Capcom four in it. Yeah, I saw that. Um, you lost me at. I take it with a grain of salt, though. I think already that... didn't that game just come out the last one? Yeah, but it was garbage. Oh, it was yeah, yeah. The game itself wasn't garbage. It's just that everything, everything else around it was just yeah. The tragic. gameplay was good, but everything other than the like that collectible, was garbage. Yeah, the collectible. Yeah, the collectible. Yeah, the Infinity Easter eggs. Yeah. The Infinity Easter eggs. Easter egg. Uh, I was so excited for that box. So I was like, oh, hell yeah, I get to take get some Infinity Stones. I saw it, I was like, oh. Oh, God, what the fuck? What is there an ad playing? Um, I think we're, I mean, I know for a fact we're going to see Halo Infinite. I'm pretty, I think they actually said that Halo Infinite's going to be there. Um, I think they said uh, Gears 5 is going to be there too. Yeah, Gears that's 5. Out mm. in here. Or what if they released a, that sequel to that Funko Pop Gears of War mobile game? <laughs> it came out. I didn't even know it came out. I don't even know if it actually did come out yet, I'm but sure I don't think it did. did. They did Gears fans so dirty by revealing the fucking Funko Pop shit first last year. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> People were popping upset. off when they saw the Gears logo, and it was just a Funko Pop of like a uh, was it Marcus Phoenix? Yeah. 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 That shit was fun. And one of fucking locusts too um, come out and. Um. What else? Probably gonna see a new uh, Forza game, as always. Forza. Yeah. Probably gonna see yeah. a new Forza game. Um, Honestly, I hope they get out like all the. The, Honestly, out the, the boring shit stuff. out first. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the usual suspects, Forza, yeah. and fucking Forza, uh, Assassin's Creed. Cause we all know. I think this. I think this is an off year for Assassin's Creed, actually. Really? Yeah, I don't think we're getting an Assassin's Creed this year. Okay. Y'all thought we wouldn't get an Assassin's Creed? Psych. Um, <laughs> I think we're. I think um, cyber, I'm pretty sure Cyberpunk's gonna be there. Cyberpunk. Yeah. And Microsoft is the only one that can show Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk's probably going to be multi plat so I think Cyberpunk's mm -hmm. going to be there. Um, trying to, I'm just trying to think what else could be there. Battletoads. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Probably see more oh, and, uh, Was there any, like, type of gameplay, any type of, like, screenshots at all shown for that new Battletoads mm -hmm. game, or was it just... Not at all. Oh, it, was just... it was just that, that title that title card, and that's it. That's all we saw. Uh... Man. It's something about uh, the Cuphead DLC, too. Oh, yeah, they need to tell us something about that goddamn Cuphead DLC. I, I thought that was released really yeah. already. Well, Not at all, sir. Not at all. They haven't nah. sold anything. Yeah. I guess I guess what was holding them up was probably like trying to get the, the Switch game out, out to yeah. Yeah, get the other consoles out. Um, yeah. There's a lot of Banjo ru rumors going around. So yeah. Maybe I honestly would not mind a Banjo-Kazooie type of news there. But, uh, 
I mean, uh... I also wouldn't mind if there was no Banjo-Kazooie news yes, sir. at all. Yes, sir! <laughs> you got all mad people on the TL, that's... Oof. The TL about to be... It's gonna be a wild on fire. place. It's gonna be a wild place. This, I, I got a good feeling about this E3. This, this E3 is gonna be just be a Nuts and Bolts remake. <laughs> <laughs> I would cry laughing. Holy shit, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's that 4chan leak of that Godzilla fighting game, um, that Arc Which Systems fake. is supposed to be making. Yeah, well, that joint fake as fuck. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna, I don't know. Uh, after Microsoft, we got uh, Bethesda. Um, I can't. S there's nothing really telling me how long theirs is gonna be, but it's probably <laughs> only gonna be like an hour or two hours, hour and a half. <laughs> It's definitely but not going to be longer just than conference is just going to be them sticking their hand out of the curtain, and <laughs> the crowd is just booing them. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what Bethesda is, besides Doom Eternal to show. I mean, the, the, I guess that Starfield game, they can yeah. probably show that. Well, they said that, and uh, Elder Scrolls Six won't be there. Okay, oh, Starfield about, yeah. won't be there? Oh, so what the fuck are they going to show? All they have is Doom Eternal. I have no idea. It's just going to be a two-hour conference of them apologizing for Fallout 76. <laughs> and then five minutes of Doom Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, man. What the fuck I, are they going to show? But that's the real bold for showing themselves up at E3. Or for showing up at E3. Yeah. They could have just showed... That's what I'm saying. They, they could have just showed Doom at, like, Quake Cons and stuff. Maybe. What do they even have to show, then? It, like literally all they have is Doom Eternal, and I guess that um, or, new, and new, or some Wolf new Wolf games. Game. I, I mean, I guess they have to show new stuff then. Uh, yeah, they oh. just come in and show that, and those two be like, all right, that's it. <laughs> that's all time I have. I gotta get back. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll see another another The Evil Within game. It's been like two years since the second one. Um, that's the only thing. I didn't even know there was a sequel for that game. Yeah, that's the only other thing I can think of that they could show. Hmm. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just looking forward, all I'm looking forward to is Doom Eternal from them, so. If I see that, if I see that, which I will, uh, that's all I care. Uh, that's that's a win for me. <laughs> Fuzz those in your good graces again. <laughs> um... Next we got uh, Devolver Digital, which is usually theirs is just a meme con conference, but they do show at least like a game or two in between the mm -hmm. memes. So they're responsible for games like Hotline Miami and shit. Right? Yeah, uh, okay. and Katana Zero that looked pretty clean too. So it's hard to kind of predict them because, like I said, there's is a, 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 a meme, meme con conference <laughs> with a game sprinkled in. But theirs is usually funny and enjoyable to watch, so... Uh, I would watch their conferences if they weren't at, like, what, midnight or some shit? <laughs> yeah, they're, like, the last Where one of Sunday. They're, like, Miss me with Bethesda. that. Miss me with that. Um, let's see. After that, we have Monday. Um, starts with the PC gaming show. Um, <sighs> basically, <laughs> all the PC gaming show shows is indie games and there's their mm. conference is mad dragged out for three hours for three hours yeah, so glad i'm working during that <laughs> let me see let me see if i can i will never watch the pc gaming show ever again bro i watched that shit once it was just uh, aside from like maybe one or two games i was like oh, okay these seem interesting it's just a, like i don't care man <laughs> <laughs> it, oh my goodness that shit lasted way too long for its own good. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can see how long it's gonna be. This would be a seven Jesus. hour. Uh, no, I don't see how long. I can't see how long it's gonna be. Let's see. What's this? PC gaming show lineup so far. It says they got 17 developers, publishers, and manufacturers this year for their show. I don't know. 
I can't see how long. Nobody's saying how long it's going to be, yeah. though, so. I don't know. I'll probably. probably... Be three hours again. I'll watch it yeah. just because. I don't care. Maybe they'll show mm -hmm. something decent. But for the most <laughs> part, it's mid. Yeah. Maybe they'll sprinkle in a surprise here and there. Actually, didn't they announce, like, a Yakuza, like, bundle or some shit there uh, last year? I cannot remember. I can't, I can't remember their conference. I don't, it was something Sega related. I, I might be remembering. Yeah, aside from that, it's just not much there. Yeah. Um, after that, we have Ubisoft. Um, there's been a lot of rumors and leaks of the next Watch Dogs game, so we can expect uh -oh. to see that there. Um, I think they've said that Be Beyond Good and Evil 2 is not going to be there. <laughs> so. Of course. Uh, honestly, I have not heard that many good things surrounding... Beyond Good and Evil 2. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just, well, uh, I guess I'm just really cautious about, about the game. I don't know. Just that, that whole little move where it's like, oh yeah, you can submit your, you can submit your artwork and it'll be in the game, but we're probably not going to pay you. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that was a little shady. Say like, hi, hey, bro. And the fact that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a prequel, it's just nobody, nobody asked for that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm just very, I'm very, I'm, I'm tiptoeing around that game. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's that uh, new Ghost Recon game that they uh they showed a while back. They'll probably show more of that. Um, yeah, they that, do make Tom Clancy games. Yeah. They'll, they'll that, probably do something with Nintendo that. too. Oh yeah. yeah. We're yeah. forgetting the. We're forgetting the best part over. about e or e Ubisoft's press conferences, bro. Oh. Yeah. It's like the, the the best part about the Ubisoft conferences oh, is just Aisha Tyler. Oh, I was yeah, and just as bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro oh. We went two separate routes there. <laughs> oh yeah, um, Skull and Bones is probably gonna be there because we haven't heard shit about that game. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like they kind of held off on showing stuff about Skull and Bones because uh, the Rare yeah. game was already out. Yeah, probably. The Sea of Mid. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's like, uh, oh, you know what? I honestly think we could see like some other some other type of collab with Nintendo. Yeah, probably. I'm pretty sure they've said they're mm -hmm. working on more stuff with them, so... That would be great. It was like they had Mario and Rabbids and they also had Starlink. Yeah, so I think, we're, I think so, we'll see another thing. Mm -hmm. I, I would honestly love another Mario and Rabbids type game. Because, like, I remember initially everyone was, like, clowning it or yeah. just memeing it because of the fucking Rabbids. And I was like, y'all y'all haven't even seen, like, the actual game yet. Uh, that just kind of pissed me off. And then I was so happy when the game came out and it was, was great. It was a good game. Yeah. You know, Mario regardless of the Rabbids. <laughs> DLC pretty lit too. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> yeah, I think I think I think you'll be like I said. I think all of these minus the PC gaming show are probably gonna have good stuff to show. I don't think there's gonna be any mid conference. Only mm -hmm. one I could see potentially being mid for some people is Bethesda, and that's just because we don't even they don't. It seems like they're not showing anything besides Doom. Yeah. It's just a combination of them just screwing over their consumers and just it doesn't seem like they got that much to show. Yeah. Um, after Ubisoft is Square though, they're taking um, Sony's, cool. Sony's spot. That's crazy. Um, uh, they'll probably, we know for sure they're going to show more Final Fantasy VII Remake. The Avengers mm -hmm. game is going to be there. Um, yes sir. Yeah. The Kingdom Hearts uh, DLC is probably gonna be there. Mm. I really want a uh, Marvel DLC for that. You're not getting that. <laughs> That'd be clean though. You're not getting it though. That's the thing. Oh. They, own, they own them though. You still not getting it. Licensing, licensing issues. Um, I'm excited to see the Marvel's Avengers shit finally. Yeah. I feel like how long has it been since it. we saw that saw that fucking uh, initial reveal? It was like 20, 2016, 2017? probably. So it's been a so bit. Like, I'm assuming. Um, I actually don't know what kind of game it is. So 
Um, it's like a beat em up open world. Let me see. I'm hoping it's like Spider Man. Mm -hmm. I think they've said what kind of game it's gonna be. Let me see if I can find it. It'd be cool if it, I honestly wouldn't mind if it was like an action RPG type game. Okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. um, that would be pretty cool. This is the Defining Avengers gaming experience. Damn, they're really about to take uh, um, Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance's two <laughs> spot. An epic action adventure that combines cinematic storytelling with continuous single player and cooperative gameplay. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Assemble in teams up to four players, master extraordinary abilities, customize your heroes to fit your playstyle, and combine powers to defend an ever-expanding world under constant just... threat. So, yeah, this sounds like Ultimate Alliance. Be... Yeah, it sounds like Ultimate yeah. Alliance. Or they could, like, pull a Platinum Games here and make, like, a, mo a really fire beat-em-up. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, definitely I'm interested. Definitely interested to see what they're gonna do. Yeah. Of course, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Maybe we'll finally get the a date. release date. Mm hmm It'll wait three years instead of five. <laughs> I still don't like that they're doing episodic, but... Yeah. But I, I guess we can't really do anything about it now, because they've already yeah. decided on it. Um, um, other than that, I don't know what else they're going to show. Um, this is probably going to be like two hours long too since they took Sony's spot, so. Yeah. We'll see what they got. Um, after Square is the last conference, which is on Tuesday, it's Nintendo. Oh, crap. Ooh, boy. Um, from Nintendo, we're probably going to see Louis. Louis, Louis. Oh, God. Oh. That's how I'm yeah, feeling about that. Nintendo's conference. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> we got Luigi's Mansion 3. Animal Crossing will probably be there. Um, Astral Chain will probably be there. Uh, I think they might delay Animal Crossing. Yeah, just because it's not playable. I don't know. They're being, I, mean, I feel like I don't they're know. being weird about Animal Crossing. I don't think like Animal Crossing not being like a game they listed there would mean it got delayed. It's just that I wouldn't really see how a playable demo of Animal Crossing would work at an event like E3. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. Like, Animal Crossing is very dependent on just, like, you yourself, right? It would just seem weird if you're only confined to yeah. this certain aspect of the game. It, uh, I don't yeah, know. I agree. I, at most, I think we'll probably get, like, another trailer, and that's about it. I still think they've been being weird about it, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's going to get delayed, but... Mm -hmm. They've definitely been being weird with it, as opposed to every other game they they got coming out. Um, yeah. Probably gonna get a lot of release dates. Uh, probably yeah, probably gonna get some, uh, put out like one or two, Smash DLCs. <laughs> um, I hope we get some Metroid Prime Four news in the trilogy. Like, I hope yeah, they like literally anything, something. literally anything about Prime Four, yeah. I would be happy about. Pull up Pokemon like, when they were like when they were talking about how there's gonna be a mainline RPG. Do that. Just have somebody from Retro sitting there telling us how the game's coming along or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. They could pull uh what was it E3 2017? Or it's like during the Treehouse they just announced another 2D Metro game. Yeah, they could. Yeah. <laughs> that threw me off so bad, bro. It's like after Prime Four is announced, it's like yeah, by the way, uh you got another Metro game coming. I hope I hope we see the prime probably see the prime trilogy. Oh, Link's Awakening, we'll probably see more about that. Yeah, yeah, that that actually was one of the games they listed would be showed off. I think. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Then there's also the rumors about that uh, Link to the Past remake. Mhm. Mm um, there's been rumors that uh, what is it? That Rare Replay is gonna come to Switch. Uh, what is the Rare Replay? It's just a bunch of old Rare games. Oh, so it's not even like remakes. It's just like bundled old yeah. rare games. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I don't think they're remakes. It's like thirty games, really. And like three of them are like all the banjo games, and then like Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and then a bunch of arcade games they first had. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Hopefully, they show yeah. stuff that we don't know about. Yeah, like 
Bayo 3, maybe 2? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Bayo 3. Bayo 3. Oh, really? It's be been there. so long since they announced Bayonetta 3. That was like, what? Game Awards 2017? Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the year yeah. game Breath of the Wild one is when they, they showed that game. And it's been so long since. Yeah, I, like, I think they might show something for that game. That'd be great. Uh, maybe we'll uh, finally uh, know what the fuck's going on with Pikmin 4. Because <laughs> that game has been uh, somewhere. That game's been living in Cuba. <laughs> been on the low. But you know, the, the game's almost done, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Said five years so ago. We've got, uh, well, it's almost done, though. <laughs> um, like, honestly, the game's not quite think... ready yet, but it is almost done. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, the, like I don't it. think the direct is, like, the end game, where it's, like, everything has to be shown there. Like, they could definitely show off some crap during um the treehouse yeah yeah like, they usually do so yeah and, I, and then accompany it with some gameplay they might have there it's gonna or help be... like they don't we don't even have to wait until tuesday they could probably show uh you know, something related to the games they're you know having championships for on saturday like maybe reveal a new Mario Maker world, or you know, reveal a new Smash character. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll do one at E3 and then another one at uh, the Invitational. Maybe. maybe. I mean, I, <laughs> two was too much, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would. I, I see honestly, doing that though. Like honestly, I've been too used to Nintendo being on their bullshit, so I honestly would wouldn't be surprised if. They just didn't show DLC at all. Yeah. That, <laughs> that sounds like a that sounds like a Nintendo thing to do. Yeah, that'd be oh. that'd be the Nintendo thing to do. It's just not show anything. But I I don't I think they I think they are. Yeah. If they don't show any DLC, I'd be really surprised. <laughs> <He did. laughs> I'd be nah. really surprised. And I would just post the the CJ screenshot again. <laughs> when Nintendo fans are mad again. What else? <laughs> That's it. No Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so no Steve? <laughs> Steve. Not really sure what else what else they got. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I've been having this thought in my head, but I don't know if I'm being crazy here, but I, I feel like, I don't know, it's just a feeling inside me that there's going to be some type of Sonic game, like core Sonic game. Not, like, just any type of news at all. I feel yeah, it's like... It's been a while since we've had a Sonic game. I want to, what, yeah. two like years even, now? Maybe? And honestly, I wouldn't even, like, count TSR as, like, being, like, oh, it's been too close since, like, a Sonic game just came out. Yeah. Like, I honestly... Intr like, <laughs> introducing Sonic, Sonic 06 2. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic the... <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I, it's just a feeling I have. Speaking yeah. of unnecessary sequels, uh, how do we feel about Overwatch Two? <laughs> oh my God, I, I thought people were memeing. I was like, okay, that's cute. Me but too. I, I looked, I, I looked around. I'm like, Overwatch, what are you doing? <laughs> Jeff Kaplan, come on now, fix your, own, fix the story in the first game, please. <laughs> exactly. Please. <laughs> I don't even know the whole story. It's it way more confusing. But hey, as, go off. As much, as, so as, much of a meme, do do. as much of a meme it is, uh, I honestly do hope that the, the sequel does fix or improve a lot of the things wrong with the <laughs> first game. I mean, if they want it, here's how they should do it. If they want to make Overwatch 2 just a story game, just do that. Don't try to make it like how Overwatch 1 is. Yeah. Or Overwatch. Just leave over. If you're gonna do that, make come out saying, okay, Overwatch. The game is gonna be strictly shooter. We're no longer gonna add any content or like story to that game. Any story that we're gonna announce now is gonna be an Overwatch two. That's it. Yeah. So I honestly see this as a good opportunity for them to completely overhaul how the game is. Yeah. If Blizzard was smart, they would fix a lot of things wrong with Overwatch and. Do it in Overwatch 2, but 
is Blizzard we're talking about. It balance the game a little better, too, if there is any multiplayer aspect. Overwatch 2, all gay characters. Okay. All right. <laughs> See that guy? He eats penis. And so is the guy next to him. They're eating each other's penis. <laughs> oh. Who knows? Maybe Overwatch 2 could do something. I mean, will I get it? Yeah. <laughs> I won't. Do I want it? <laughs> no. Fleet won't make that same mistake again. I won't be buying that trash. <laughs> Just play it for a year, then return it back. It's just like the first okay. one. <sighs> nope. I've already, already done this song and dance once before. Let's see. Anything else? Like that. Uh, no, I think that's, I think that's about it. Uh, for, for the E3 stuff, um, you guys got any closing thoughts on E3? Uh, I would, I would say Gravity Rush 3, but Sony's not going to be there, so it's no point really. Yeah. Oh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a new console, maybe, they'll show? Oh, Who yeah, knows? yeah, I think, Xbox actually, I think one. Xbox might show theirs, or might talk about it at the very least. Yeah, so... At the end of the day, the TL's about to be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Nintendo Switch 2. Not the Nintendo Switch 2. <laughs> GameCube 2. Oh, like, I honestly hope that the conference... Well, you know, I, <laughs> I don't think it's a good thing for... for or I don't think it's good to want a bad conference for anybody. Like, you want everyone to have a successful showing. Yeah. Yeah. That's really all I can hope for. Just standards are at an all-time low right now. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I'm literally expecting nothing. So if I get disappointed, it's like... Wow, y'all... Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what were y'all doing? I'm nothing, and I'm and still, I'm still disappointed. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you are the kind of producer that hears... I think... Uh, I don't know. I think... I think this is going to be a good E3. It should. It may be solid. I think it's going to be a good E3. Um, all right, I was gonna do it for this, uh, for this episode of the Dead Pixel Podcast. Um, thanks you guys for for hopping on. Thanks everybody uh, for anytime, watching. Anytime, brother. No, um, I'll just go down the Probably list, cool. and you guys can plug whatever you want. Start with eight bit. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I guess y'all can follow me on Twitter. Uh. 8 bit Ron. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Uh then me, you're already on my uh you're already on my page. Um and then my Twitter's just the same at Fleeticus. And uh Chris. Uh I actually started my own podcast All called right. It's Modelo Time. <laughs> Alright, bro. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's Modelo Time. I'll, I'll... I'll have something to plug one day. Don't worry about it. Wait Pablo. until then, I'm just shit post. Uh, yeah, my Twitter at Pablo Jander and uh, might have a YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. Guess that's it. You guys all have a good day. See you at E3. Peace. Goodbye. Later. <laughs>